Well, I'm back. Been kind of busy here. You see, I got a new project. Yep, not like I don't have enough projects. I went out and bought a 1975 Honda XL250. Been wanting a little 250 uh, for a long time. You see, the tank is off. I've got it over there. It had some dents in it. Um, in a little bit, I pushed the dents out the best I could, and just a little bit of filler in to kind of smooth it out. Throw new paint on it, and um, got some decals and everything. We'll get it all cleaned up. But anyway, it's not a bad little bike. Um, it's got you probably can't see that 7,729 miles. So it's um, not bad. It's got a new front back tire on it. Needs a new front tire. Um, guy bought it up if it didn't said it didn't run, didn't get any spark. Well, the problem with it was was the spark plug wire it was loose inside the boot here. Um, I clipped the wire off and screwed it back together, and, and bingo, I got spark. So I'm hoping that was all it was. I traced everything else down, checked my points and stuff. Everything was cool. So, but um, yeah, it's a cool little bike. I had a. 1972 Honda XL250 um, when I was a kid and that uh, was the second motorcycle I ever owned and anyway I got away from bikes and got the itch again so yeah, I didn't pay a whole lot of money for it just painted everything up I'm in the process I got the front end all done As you can see everything is looks pretty good it's not very tight there, is it? But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to tighten that up. I forgot to tighten those, didn't I? Something. But anyway, we'll get to it. And I painted the muffler and uh, got the kickstand. Cleaned out a bunch of crap. Now we're going to go to the rear end. I wish I would have got the film of this, video of this, when it was when I just bought it. I mean, the good thing about it was complete. Everything is there. All the turn signals, um, you know, needed a battery. I'd put some mirrors on it, um, things like that. But it was it was complete. So, but that's where I'm at with that. And uh, give you an update on the engine here, if we can see it. It's back in the shop. I got it upside down right now. It covered the uh, bottom of it. I um, put the head on it and. Uh, I've put the oil pump on and I oiled everything up so that she didn't rust. Already got a nice coat of surface rust on the block because of me dragging my feet and not getting anything painted. But uh, I was kind of concerned with the cylinders and stuff. You can't see down in there. But um, anyway, they were, they were, had a few warm days where we got some moisture and it really created a lot of surface rust so I had the head off at that time I went ahead and put the head on and uh, tightened it all down and uh, there's my parts and I got to put on I got some of them painted and you know it's just a matter of doing it I still got the front end all tore apart laying back there see all the stinking mowers I've got got a rototiller there and I got a uh, motor here mower that I've purchased and uh, another one back there I got in a deal but uh, then this is another project guy wants me to get this golf cart running so I don't know don't know if it's worth the money bought all new batteries for it dropped a pretty penny right there but uh, we're gonna try to get it running but anyway then he's got another little bike over here that needs a car clean and stuff so I'm gonna do that but um, it's kind of where I'm at right now. It's, uh, what is today, the 5th of March? And uh, expecting a snowstorm coming in. So we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, just a short video to let you know what's cooking here. It's Snow King's place. So, anyways, we'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.